What's going on, diecast collectors? Everybody's uh, safe and doing well out there. So I want to talk about something um, a bit different in this video. And uh, which is this car, which actually appeared in a movie. And I'll tell you which movie later on in the video. But this car, this toy car, which was produced in the early 70s, which is a Corgi Whiz Wheels model, Corgi Toys Whiz Wheels. And it's definitely got some age to it. See a little bit of maybe even rust down there on the axles. But that's okay. They can't all be perfect. Um, this car, known as the Adams Probe 16, designed by the Adams Brothers in uh, the UK in the late 60s, uh, you know, was basically a prototype sports car, maybe supercar of the era. And... Um, they actually did produce three real versions of this car. One of which actually appeared in the movie A Clockwork Orange. Which is a uh, very interesting, violent, little cult movie if you've never seen it. Like I said, sliding cowl, Got two seats, very futuristic looking. And of course, the uh, the framing on the real car would have been metal, as opposed to just you know clear plastic piece like on this. So it would have had a little bit more detail up here, but a cool model nonetheless. But there's something else I want to talk about with this car, which actually appears on the base. On the bottom here, I don't know how well it's coming out with my phone, it says Mazak Diecast. So M A Z A K Diecast. Sound familiar? You Zamac Hot Wheels fans, Zamac, Zamac. So basically, another variation on that word or hybrid of that word, whatever you want to call it, which uh, basically refers to a, a, a zinc alloy. So I remember buying some diecast cars from one of you know. One of the sellers I buy cars from once in a while is a real, real knowledgeable guy. And I said something about the cars being metal years, a few years ago. He goes, no, they're all made out of zinc. So technically a metal, I don't know. I'm not a scientist or a chemist or a geologist. So I don't know all the details on that, but um, something, if you're curious, you might want to research that. But still, a cool die-cast model. And uh, they did do like a 164 basic scale of this model, too. Uh, Corgi did, but I don't have it. But I'm happy to have this one. And I enjoyed sharing that with everybody. So have a great night. Thanks.